who has qualified for the first 2024 Republican presidential debate? What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video and today. It is time that we talk about the 2024 Republican presidential primary and go over, as of now, who is in and not in the first debate. Now, let me be clear. Theoretically, stuff could happen the next 48 hours the change of this list, but based on everything we're seeing and based on the numbers we're looking at, the debate field is already set. And we're going to go over why that is and who actually has qualified right now. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right, everybody. So let's get into it because this is actually quite important and it's going to be, a, I think, personally, a fairly big drama on Wednesday because that's when the debate is and there's a few candidates claiming they've qualified, but based on everything we've seen and heard, they haven't actually qualified. But guys, it sounds like we have something amazing that just happened because Perry Johnson the long shot candidate that many of you probably still haven't heard about has just qualified for the first debate. Now, as a good chunk of you know, I'm somebody that actually believes Perry Johnson should be allowed to debate. I've actually liked him for quite a bit. I like his issues page. I think that overall, he is definitely a more unique candidate. He's the one with the two cents plan where, hey, we just got to cut 2% of government spending every year for the next X amount of years to get this deficit solved. And I've always said he deserves it. He's been running, I would say, a fairly good campaign. And well, at the last second, he qualified for the debate. And I got to say, there was a lot of celebration happening in, you know, private conversations, you know, in public, really. A lot of people that know Johnson they were celebrating this because it's quite epic to see him qualify, but that's not really what today's video is about because he's already qualified based on everything we're seeing. He's hit the donor threshold thanks to his, you know, I think it was a visa giveaway where if you gave him a dollar, you know, you got a $10, you know, gas card or something like that. And then at the last second, Literally like, literally like 24 hours before the debate deadline for it to qualify. He had three polls or actually four, four polls at the last second that were barely what the RNC required to be a, a quote unquote real poll or whatever you want to say. Well, he did it. He qualified in two national polls and two statewide polls at the last second. He got 1%. So, yeah, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. <laughs> Somehow, Perry Johnson did qualify for the debate. Johnson's apparent qualification came in a whirlwind 24-hour period in which a series of polls appear to have qualified him for the first primary debate in Milwaukee, according to Pol uh, Politico's tracking of the parameters set out by the RNC. So, yeah, great day for Johnson. W's in the chat, whatever. It's a great day. Again, look up Perry Johnson. I think he should run for the Senate seat in Michigan. That's where he's from. But, hey, he's actually been a fairly good candidate this year. 
But that's not where the drama is really happening, though some of the simps are mad at this. I don't know why, but hey, whatever. The big drama comes from Miami Mayor Francis Soretz. Now, this is where things are going to get a bit quirky. Because, all right, you look here, Soretz reached the donor threshold, you know, quite a while ago. I don't know how, but he did. But here's the problem for him. He's only qualified for two polls, one national, one statewide. And he needs one more national poll and one more statewide poll. Same thing with Will Hurd. That's the problem that some of these candidates have. Like, let's be real. What other polls are going to come out in the next 48 hours that's going to get you over the hump? And Francis Arez is actually claiming, no, no, I qual I qualified. I'm excited to announce that I have met all the criteria to qualify for the GOP's first debate. So Rez's campaign announced on X, the social media site formerly known as Twitter. But his announcement does not match Politico's analysis. And an RNC official told the Associated Press, which first reported Sorez's claims, the committee considers Sorez short of its criteria. And that's why I think this is going to be... Very interesting, because what if he just shows up to Milwaukee? Are you going to really put away a candidate like Cerez, who theoretically has reached the donor threshold and a couple of the polling? Same thing for Will Turd, you know? It's like, hmm. Just, it's going to be a very, very... Controversial day, I think. Though the roster of qualified candidates has been set for weeks, eight, including former President Trump, who has said he is not likely to show up, Johnson and a handful of other lower-tier candidates have been inching closer in recent days. And the reason that this is big is a lot of these people, they don't know who Perry Johnson, even Francis Therese, or Will Hurd are. Getting on the debate stage alone is a huge victory for Johnson. Because now, he's going to get name recognition. Because whether or not Trump actually shows up or not, we will have millions of people probably tuning in into the debate. So you're probably going to see a lot of people get their first look at somebody like Johnson. And that's why a lot of these other lower tier candidates, they are fighting like hell to get on the debate stage. And really, the only one that I could see maybe qualifying at the last second is Ass Hutchinson. He's gotten all the pulling thresholds, just he needs to get the donors. And I believe he's at like 38,000, I believe. And you have to reach 40,000 to reach the debate stage. He's the only one that I think could seriously crack the threshold to get on the debate stage, which I, it's possible, but you're cutting it very close. As for the other idiots, Serez, I think is, he's going to probably show up, but he's not going to be allowed to debate. That's going to be freaking hilarious. Will Hurd, Will Turd, whatever you want to call the guy. Again, I don't know why he's even running. And I really want to know, how does he have 40,000 donors? And this is a big question a lot of people have been asking. How are some of these candidates, you know, getting 40,000 donors? Like Will Hurd. Who's ever heard of this guy? I mean, that's the part where it's a bit, hmm, very interesting. Like, how did you qualify when nobody ever heard of you? And again, people like Johnson and Burgum, they got away with it because they had the gift card giveaways where if you gave a dollar, you got $20 back. But yeah, I mean, even Christy, I understand he reached it because people still know who Christy is. Tim Scott, obviously, he has a big donor base. Nikki Haley, etc. But Will Hurd? Even Francis Serez, that's kind of pushing it. 
But overall, there's five candidates that could theoretically make it uh, Saturday or I should say Wednesday. I have no clue who Ryan Binkley is. I don't know why he suddenly just popped up to this uh, threshold tab thing, but I guess he's a candidate now. Oh my gosh, this is a complete and total meme. Now, as for my current prediction for how the debate's going to go, I actually think right now Johnson already won the debate. <laughs> Just for merely showing up and being on the debate stage, I think Johnson already has won the debate, in my opinion. Could that change? Yeah, but we're going to have a final prediction for how I think the debate will go, like, my probably Tuesday. But somebody like Johnson getting on the debate, that is huge. But rem remember, people, just a week ago, Johnson had zero polls that had him qualified for the debate. He better thank Trafalgar big time for getting him over the hump. But he did go over the hump. I don't know how, but he somehow did. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the social media accounts in the description down below. And, of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.